For the navigation, at least two stations are required for coverage. Okay. So the area of coverage it depends on two parameter. First one is the maximum range of the station and the distance between the station. Okay, distance between the station. So this service area depends on latitude of the region, season of the year, and the time of the day. Okay. For the ground wave, the average range over the sea in latitude is around 600 kilometers and in the equatorial region about 500 kilometers. Okay. So the range over a land is less about half or third compared to sea. Okay. So the sky wave range which are the same over land and sea. Okay. It is higher, appreciably higher. So the accuracy of Loran system is dependent on which time interval measurement can be made. It is also dependent on the signal strength. The other factor which is dependent which on the accuracy is in which the ground stations are going to be synchronized. Okay. After achieving these two factors, the probability of error is around 1.5 to 2 microsecond in the measurement of time interval. Okay, it can be have this uh, delay of this 2 microsecond for the arrival of signal. Okay, because the error may be introduced because of the sky wave propagation as the path taken by the sky wave is longer one via the ionosphere as the ionosphere is made up of full of ions which are randomly located in the ionosphere okay, which also affects my propagation of the signal okay. Second is Loran C. So Loran A and Loran C, what is the difference? The difference is in the operating frequency. Loran A was the first developed, after that Loran C was developed, which operates in the band of 90 to 110 kilohertz. It is developed after the World War II. As a disadvantage of the previous Loran was removed, that is the lower coverage area. Okay, lower coverage area was there in the Loran A, so it is going to be reduced. That error is going to be reduced with that of Loran C, right? So with the help of low frequency, the ground wave transmission is very much larger. Okay, and attenuation is nearly same, whether over it is land or over the C. Alright. So, as the larger ground wave range permits the greater separation between the master and the slave, right, the range of Loran C is several hundred of kilometers. So, with the help of limited bandwidth, which is available for Loran C, the pulse width has to be a very long. And this reduces the accuracy, but it is still higher than the Loran A. So, advantage of using Loran C is it its operating frequency, larger coverage area, and the accuracy, which is comparability higher than Loran A. Okay. So the accuracy is going to be achieved using the Keyshem atomic clock for generation of carrier signal of the transmitter. And in the synchronization of 
the transmitter is proper then pulse matching is going to be easy and less error is going to be occur in the transmission side okay so compared to loran a the loran c has the probability of error is variable of signal from the transmitter is having a delay of 0.1 microsecond earlier for loran a it was around 1.5 to 2 microsecond right peak power is 1 megawatt and in the loran c transmission envelope is used all right so in loran we have studied loran a and loran c based on that we have compared according to the frequency its range and its accuracy right so the second hyperbolic navigation system is the deca navigation so what is the operating frequency band operating frequency band is lf okay that is between 70 to 120 kilohertz which uses the all modulated continuous wave earlier in loran system it uses only a pulse data or we are going to transmit it in the form of pulse right but in the deca navigation we are going to use only a continuous wave so in deca navigation system the fix is going to be obtained by measuring the phase difference between the signals of two station which is going to be phased from okay this is synchronization is most so in the deca chain which consists of four station one is master three slave in loran the chain consists of three station one master two slave and we have one master three slaves okay so the master station is at the center and the three slaves at the corner of the triangle okay so this arrangement gives the three set of hyperbolic position line one set corresponding to master and each to the slave all right so this fix is going to be obtained over considerably area by the intersection of two hyperbolic lines right a deca navigation system in which the each transmitter has different frequency so the radiation from the each station will differentiate by the receiver right generally harmonically related frequencies related by each transmitter and the phase measurement done at the common harmonic frequency which is obtained at receiver by using a multiplying circuits now we are going to focus how this is going to be done so over here block diagram of deca receiver it is a deca navigation system in which you are going to identify there is a rf amplifier oscillator divider phase comparator mixer and all of the rf amplifier right so antenna is there to receive the signal okay as there are two rf amplifiers which is having a frequency having f1 and f2 right that frequency f1 is going to be applied to the oscillator as well as after the oscillation it is going to be applied to the mixture why because it will generate the difference of this two frequency f1 and the f2 to generate the if intermediate frequency all right and after generation of if that means a down conversion subtraction of this two frequency the i is going to be applied to the phase comparator right and after the phase comparison it is going to be we can say the phase comparison that frequency is going to be is i frequency and the phase is going to be compared with the frequency which is going to be applied 
from the other primary part that is F1 is going to be divided with the help of divider and that triple is going to be applied with the, for the phase comparison. Alright, so this is the DECA receiver. So the DECA navigation is the low frequency hyperbolic network system. What it compares? It compares the phase difference of radio signals which is emitted by the several radio station. Right? So this method of navigation was used in aeromagnetic surveying before the advantage of the global positioning system over water and the ice where the visual flights path recovery methods were not reliable. Alright? So over here we have studied in chapter number 10 that is a hyperbolic navigation system. We have studied what does it mean, what are different uh, types of hyperbolic navigation system like Loran, Edka, Omega. Right? And in the Loran we have studied Loran A, Loran C. That are going to be identified or differentiated with the operating frequency, its accuracy, and its range. We have studied the DECA receiver. Okay, what is its operating frequency, its range as well. Right? So over here, chapter number 10, that is the hyperbolic navigation system, is finished. Alright. But still, if you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime on my video of ID. We are going to start from number 11 in the next session. Till then, thank you for your attention.